So this is a multiple choice question. Make sure that you do actually answer the question before you look at the answers and try and eliminate those distractors. So this one's about relating your sine graphs, your sine relationship graphs for SHM. And actually it could be just really based on your knowledge that you had way back in AS. In the first year, one of the first things you'll have done was talked about the relationship between displacement time graphs and velocity time graphs and then acceleration time graphs. Okay, so what is the um, thing that links it? Well, a velocity time graph, okay, just displays the gradient of a displacement time graph. Because if I do displacement divided by time, or dy by dx, then I get velocity. So you just got to think, well, how high is the gradient at first? The gradient is high and positive, so it can only be a already. Then the gradient is zero. That could be that one, but that wasn't high and positive to start. Then the gradient is high but negative. There, and then back to zero again. So it's just actually looking through this graph and looking for the maximum gradients and the stationary points, and then just referring that down into this shape here and selecting that's got to be the velocity time graph there. So I hope that was really useful to you. Exam questions are a great way to practice for exams, but don't just do exam questions. There's, if you struggle with that exam question, then you probably need to revisit the theory for that topic. So do that before you have a go at some other ones. If I've made any mistakes, then correct them down below. And if you've got any more questions, then down below as well. Maybe you guys can help each other out. And there should be some um, playlists around here and a subscribe button if you like that and you want to see some more as I'm going to bring it out. All right, thanks a lot for watching.